we're here at VMworld 2018 in Las Vegas, and we're visiting the Veeam booth. Can you tell us a little bit about the company and what you're showing here at VMworld? Thanks, Brian and Dave. So Veeam at VMworld is really like a synonymous combination. We've been at VMworld really since our existence, really. It's the ecosystem we started our business in. And you know, this year, like other years at VMworld, Veeam's really bringing it all. We've got demos, we've got our partner teams, our service provider teams, and we're really happy to reach out to customers and partners. So our message this year is really around intelligent data management. We just got out of a packed breakout on our upcoming release, Beam Availability Suite 9.5 Update 4. A lot of capabilities around the cloud. I can't emphasize that enough. You know, Veeam technologies that we have for backup, replication, orchestration, management, visibility, automation, a lot of capabilities are, are coming into our platform as we're growing. And we look at VMworld as really one of the best vehicles, the best events to really take our message to market. You know, our annual VeeamON conference kind of started our annual message, but it really gets real and, and solidified and brought into the bigger ecosystem here. So we're really happy to, to be here. I, I think this is my 12th VMworld I've been to at Veeam, including the Europe events. So it's uh, it's pretty, pretty significant, our investment here. We had an outstanding party last night. And you know, for, for customers and partners that are wanting to learn more, about Update 4 and, and other Veeam capabilities, you can just go to Veeam.com and find lots of information there. And you know, you talked about your relationship with VMware and that strong partnership. Um, can you talk maybe a little bit more about how you how you fit into the ecosystem? Well, the ecosystem is critical to Veeam. I, I have a little little say, and I like to say is that Veeam has partnerships in our DNA. And VMware is one of our oldest and most established partners. And you know, you think about where our products worked from the very beginning, it, it was the VMware ecosystem. So uh, VMware is a great partner. We support a lot of their products, and you know, it's backup, it's replication, and and you know, that's good for uh, the virtualized part of the data center. But it also supports a lot of their current. Uh, priorities. So VMware Cloud on AWS, a lot of people don't know that, that Veeam was right from the launch, ready to go, supported for a backup and replication and recovery and failover type of capability set for that new strategic cloud platform from VMware. And then also other technologies like VMware Virtual SAN, VMware VBALS, storage policy-based management, those areas of technology, Veeam has very differentiating capabilities that are completely in line with some of the policies and capabilities of those platforms that really tell a bigger VMware story. So we're happy to support that. We're always looking for the next new thing that VMware and other key partners are doing to, to roll into our product support. And you know we're happy to bring that to market. And you know those those things I just highlighted, VMC, vSAN, and VBALS and storage policy based management, that's all generally available capability. So if you go to Veeam.com and download a trial and you know start looking at some of the capabilities that you might be doing in your data center, you'll be ready to go with Veeam to keep that technology and that data available. So Rick, we've been asking some of the people here at VMworld, you know, if you had a crystal ball and you could see the future, where would you see backup and availability going in the next so, couple of years? So that's a great question. I see backup availability in this whole industry through my own crystal ball. I, I see a really good future. And let me explain. I mean, we kind of walked into it from digital transformation that basically told the world that this part of the data center is actually really important. And I've been evangelizing here at Beam for like eight years about this part of the data center. And I've actually never been more excited than what's coming forward. So if I look into the crystal ball, what I see is more of a, I'm making up my own words here, but like a, like a transparent data fabric that has silos of capabilities and responsibility so that motion of data is completely transparent to anything, whether it be uh, on-premises data centers, hyperscale public clouds, next generation platforms like containers, serverless applications, and even new applications, software as a service, and more. So that if you think about why people change what they do in the data center, the barriers to that are gone. And, and specifically, I like to say that people go to the cloud, for example, because it's the right platform. They don't necessarily go to the cloud to save money, 
Uh, they might go there because their boss told them to do such. Right. But they, generally, the, the consistent motion is just the right platform. And if we have this completely transparent data fabric, I think that the right platform will be a very good move. Because I really want to think that gone are the days, our bricks in the data center that, you know, are eyesores and really hold us down. So I, I think that that crystal ball will really allow some mobility to allow organizations to keep their data available, have insights to their data, automation and orchestration of different capabilities of their data and their apps and their workloads. And that's going to be very interesting as we compound with the exponential growth. And, you know, sure, the growth of data can be from, you know, uh, mobile devices, you know, Internet of Things, et cetera. But data that drives business is actually going through that as well. More analytics are coming into play. And when you think about the gravity of all of that different data, this, this transparent, you know, migration of data and seamless, you know, barrier-free instantiation is really important. So that's the Ricketron crystal ball in regards to the future of backup data management and availability.